All right, hello and welcome to another deck highlight video. Today we are going to be showcasing the new card Werewolf by Night. Uh, the card just came out, so I haven't played with him a crazy amount, but I just went on like a six game winning streak that went from 40k to 30, top 30,000. Uh, so I feel pretty good about this deck. And this is also a deck that I've used not for a video, but just like on my own time outside. So I have a bit of experience with this deck and I figured Werewolf by Night would be the perfect addition to the deck. Um, so looking at the deck, the two important cards that you should be looking at is it's a Phoenix Force deck and it is a Thanos deck. So the real benefit here is that Thanos adds six stones to your deck. Four of the six Infinity Stones are on reveal cards, which means you have a lot of small on reveal cards to play out over the course of the deck of your game. On top of that, we also have destroy cards like Carnage and Killmonger and Lady Deathstrike to destroy our own stones, hate on our opponent's cards, and give something for Phoenix Force to hit, which is an on reveal card. On top of that, we have Craven and Cloak and Silk for just good move tools. Spider-Man, or Miles Morales specifically, to uh, get the cost reduction from one of the movement tools that are happening, whether it's Silk, Cloak, Phoenix Force, Werewolf by Night, or the Space Zone. One of those things will happen likely in reduce Spider-Man's cost. And then if we're destroying well enough in our Phoenix Force game with Killmonger, Carnage, and Death Strike, we can get death to about a zero cost. So our final turns can be very explosive at times. Um, the one thing that people may be looking at, like, why don't you actually have a good card for Phoenix Force to hit? Like, I don't have Human Torch or Multiple Man or uh, Dagger, I guess. Like, you could do Vulture, I guess. Uh, why don't I have any of those, like, staple cards? It's because it doesn't really matter. Uh, the fact that on turn 4 I will get a Phoenix Force that I can move around means 1. I can get into hard, re hard to reach locations. 2. I get a second effect of one of the stones, which all of the stones are just good. And I can buff Craven one time, maybe two times if it's a Limbo game, while having the option to move power around elsewhere. Uh, it's very strong just because Phoenix Force is overall a good card but you can make it a great card if you make it the focal point of your deck, but you don't have to. And I don't think, I think people knew that during the Phoenix Force season, but they have forgotten now that you can make decks where Phoenix Force is just good, but not great in your deck. It's not something we need to find, we can win without it. But anyway, uh, I think you guys will enjoy the gameplay. Uh, it's a lot of very fun, very all over the place gameplay. Uh, but if you enjoy, please subscribe for more future deck highlights and leave a like and comment letting me know that you enjoyed this video. Uh, anyway, uh, let's hop into the gameplay. Alright, hopping into game number one. Uh, double time stone. Sick. We're not worried about it right now though. Probably just gonna silk on curve, call it fine. Uh, we're gonna Craven because we want to get him down as early as possible. Probably Silk Commertage Time Stone, I think is what I want to do. This could be funny. This this right here could be funny. Uh, we don't really have anything, but this gives us two card draws as well, uh, which is just good. Uh, go into the Craven, please. And Werewolf by Night. Um, our Lady Death Strike, our Lady Death Strike can currently not hit anything. Um, game plan is Werewolf, the Silk Path, Cloak, the Craven Path. Uh, so that way, if Silk bounces into Craven, we can move the Silk out of the path. Werewolf by Night's going to move there, um, and then we can move a different card into the Craven lane next turn. Unfortunate. But Werewolf by Night will go there, which is cool. I'm not going to be snapping in these games because 
uh, at around 30,000 people start taking the game really seriously. So, um, I'll likely just start getting a lot of retreats, which isn't very fun, believe it or not. Oh, I wish so bad. I wish so bad I could kill that. Um, game plan is that this. that there yeah I think that's the plan at the moment uh, they probably have a modok play here which is something to be concerned about yeah that's a bummer okay uh, lead death strike I didn't even see what card they discarded. Uh, Dracula? Kill Mon. What? Um, this feels like the winning game plan here. So it'll push Craven Cloak, Time Stone into Commertage. Craven will get plus four. So he'll be at 12. So. Uh, 17, 18, we'll be up 14 here, and then we'll be at 8 here, so we'll be up 2, and then this will jump back over at 9, so we'll be at 17, we'll be up 11, right? I'm thinking that their play line here is probably a MODOK or something, but I, I don't know. I, I don't think that they can beat either, because they haven't played an 11, they haven't played, like, in Apocalypse or anything. Werewolf, come over. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. That's what I said. I figured their play was probably a Modoc line, and I guess they didn't have anything that got discarded, so that's why they didn't play it in a Comertage. Victory. This wasn't even, like, really that good of a game either, and it was kind of, a, like, just a steamroll, honestly. There wasn't really much of a chance they had, and we didn't really pull any of the good stones or destroy cards that we needed to enable Phoenix Force, so we just kind of had to let her die. But, win's a win. Alright, hopping into arrive. game number two, I think. I forget. I had to run after game one and do something, so I don't remember if it was game two or not. Um, do I want to fill my hand with stones? I'm pretty sure the answer is yes. I'm okay with losing one draw because I'm drawing four cards. I just... I think that's the right play. <laughs> Un... Oh! Oh, that was, that was the right play. Very, very correct play on my part. Um... Reality stone and then space stone, I think, is what I want to do. We're drawing two cards, so hopefully we draw a destroy card here. That's by like that. It could have been a really bad location, but it's a pretty fine location. Werewolf is so good, though. Oh my god, the one stone we didn't draw is time. Oh, it's so annoying, actually. That's actually just so frustrating that that's the one card we didn't draw. Um, we're in a fine position. It just could be better. That's mildly annoying, but it's fine. This is going to draw two cards, um, and then give me seven energy, which is whatever. Oh, I can almost kill that card. Um, oh wait, this is wrong. 
I want to do this, this. this. Because I want to... I want Werewolf to get the jump from Time Stone. It's weird to have to think with a Time Stone. Like, I'm like, I have to like... Use my noggin a little bit. This is why I didn't play Power Stone, by the way, is because I planned on killing my stones. Okay. I think I'm gonna play. Oh, I got like a. Oh wait, no, 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 I wanna... Mm -hmm. Do that... Do this... Do that... Actually... This... 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 That is my playline. I apologize for how slow I am at making decisions. It's just a lot of micromanaging of what I have to do. And then Werewolf jumps over. Gives my Craven a good old plus two. A little late on the Cosmo there, bucko. Um, okay, now I have to make a choice here of if I want to Phoenix Force or if I want, I think I want a Phoenix Force Power Stone. And that leaves me open to Death Strike next turn. But I don't really think I want a Death Strike next turn, is the real kicker. Yeah, that's also why I didn't Death Strike middle, is I was worried they might fill it. Aw, uh, that is massive that I pulled Space Stone, actually. That is so huge. What on going? <laughs> I was like, what on going did he just get? I got, he got a power stone from me. Um, so I can move this here, and then I can move Craven here. Hmm, that doesn't really do anything for me. Probably I just do this, do this, do this. It's probably fine. Uh, I think they have a spectrum play. What is this? This moved here gives six. Uh, eight power, supposing it's 16. Um, but these two cards are dying. I don't know if this kills Ant-Man, actually. This might kill Ant-Man. I'm not entirely sure how that works. I'm shooting this is a Spectrum play here. I think we win, though. Oh. Well, yeah, we definitely win. Does that reduce Ant-Man? Does Ant-Man die? No. Okay. That wasn't true. Yeah, I mean, if I was playing this game, I probably, like, if I was playing this not recording, I probably would have snapped on turn one or two. I probably would have snapped on seeing Lake Hellas after I just pulled all my stones. But I didn't know if they would retreat from that, so that's why I didn't. I'll let you guys see the rank boost at the end. 
We're slowly climbing. All right, game number three. Oh, you love to see a Mind Stone. If you're a Thanos player, you love to see the turn one Mind Stone. It's your best friend. Look at all these cards. <laughs> Look at all these juicy stones. That, that. Actually, I want a time stone. No, I don't want a time stone animes. I want a time stone here. Um, the reason I'm time stoning is that way. Actually, I'll probably just space. Because in the next turn, I'll just kill longer ant maze. Yeah, I think that's the play. I was thinking about time stoning because if I time stone middle, then I could kill longer Miles Morales. Um. There's nothing we can really do about that. Uh, next turn, I can Werewolf by Night and Miles Morales. Which is, like, definitely our play line. That's fine. <laughs> like, okay. Werewolf, middle, miles, right, and then Killmonger, Soulstone. No, we can't Killmonger, Soulstone. We can just Killmonger next turn because of Dream Dimension. Which honestly, like Dream Dimension, probably benefits us more than our opponent. They probably think they're doing something there. They ain't doing something though. Let me tell you that much. Yeah, just Killmonger here. Um, yeah, so we're gonna kill everything, and then probably Heimdall left is the game plan. Because we're gonna be moving 17 power. Uh, we should Killmonger right, actually. This guy really thinks he's doing something. I don't know what it is that he thinks he's doing, but he really believes that he is indeed doing something. Um, kind of forgot that Werewolf would jump middle, not gonna lie. So I am hesitant. See, this isn't a very good situation. I don't have priority. Oh yeah, actually I don't do that. That is dumb. All I need to do is just play that because that alone pulls werewolf. Oh, and that's fine. I'm down two, down three. I'll take my chances on him not playing for Game Lab. You poor. Yeah, that was just apparently a terrible gamble. Yeah, so what, this deck was entirely designed just to beat Werewolf by Night? It's a, it's a pseudo-junk deck 
with Kingpin and Man Thing. Three cards that hate Werewolf by Night. I'm pretty, and then it has Miles Morales. I bet this deck runs Craven too. I, I can almost guarantee that this is just a guy running a, a hate deck, like a Werewolf hate deck right now, because they know he knows that everyone's gonna be playing it if they have the card. It's just annoying, whatever. It wasn't even like that bad of a game. Is like kind of the annoying thing. All right. Very good starting hand. And we draw a card. Oh, you shouldn't have. Uh, you really shouldn't. Have. Uh, I probably should just space down. Honestly, it's probably a misplay, but is what it is. Uh, I'm gonna space stone, time stone. Oh, if we throw priority. Okay. Son of a freaking dang it. Freaking gosh darn heck it. This is probably my plan at the moment. Is it a good plan? No. Is it fine? Yeah, it's probably fine. Holy heck! I'm gonna kill at least two of these. I'm killing that thing. Let's go! Let's go! Huge! Huge! Why would they Elsa kiln? Wait, hold on. That makes... Whatever. That makes no sense. Yeah, now I just can't play an on-reveal card for the rest of the game, and we're good. Uh, yeah, that's not happening. Um... Just mind stone. Yeah, I just mind stone. I don't want to move Killmonger because Phoenix Force can win me kill him still. Um. Oh, and we have Silk actually. That's so big. Uh, they can't contest Crimson Cosmos, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, that. And then we have priority, so we do that. And that's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think we're fine, because they can't draw a stone. Heimdall mid is honestly a pretty good play for them, uh, but it doesn't win. I moved Werewolf by Night moved, so if they pulled my Miles, they have another one drop, so they could Heimdall mid uh, Miles left. It's an option. Or Heimdall left, Miles left, I don't know. chilling Victory. and this is the benefit of having phoenix force even though it's just a stone we were able to pull our big win condition of werewolf by night out of kiln because we didn't really want it to be stuck there and then we could phoenix force 
back into it and give ourselves a time stone, which we didn't utilize at all. You're all welcome. And now we're making up the plus seven we lost from last game. Woo, back to where we were, heck yeah. Shall we set right? All right. Oh, we have a power stone. It's good, good for the murdering. Die. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you and say that I'm not tempted to carnage this power stone, but it's on the radar right now. What in the heck? Well, that's gonna be annoying. <sighs> okay, let me let me look at the average cost of our deck. So we currently have five plus five. So we have ten cards that if we pass this turn, we should be able to play next turn, and three that we couldn't. I like my odds of pulling a card that I can play. You didn't even use the Iron Fist! I don't know what that ability was! <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna play Werewolf right. And then... Was that, was that the copy ability? What is... What, I don't know what this... This is so dumb! <laughs> I can't I see what they do! Um, I'm gonna do this because this will pull the werewolf left. God, I want to snap. I would snap here, by the way, uh, because I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna move werewolf twice, and then next turn I'm gonna death strike middle, pull werewolf back to middle, uh, and kill the bloodstone so they can't use it. Werewolf. Oh! 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 What is that? That was an on reveal card played! I'm not okay with that. I'll be real. Not okay with that. Oh, our power stone lives. Let's go. Sick. Uh, they are going to be very sad after this turn, I'll tell you that much. I know it didn't move our werewolf, but I knew that that would ruin them. <laughs> I knew that that would ruin them. Uh, it, I don't even know if that guaranteed the win. I figured that would cause them to leave, though. <laughs> Everyone hates it when the death strike comes in. Oh, it's so funny. Uh, it was one cube, but it was one cube that made me very happy. And that's all I care about. All right, this will be the last one because I can't make this video unreasonably long is honestly the reason. See, I will say that I am not personally a Thanos player. Like I don't play Thanos as much as like other people play Thanos. Um, so maybe I should have played Time Stone there. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not really sure because I feel like Time Stone is like super good and you wanna use it to play things, to like cheat things in early, like my Lady Deathstrike on four. But like, maybe I was supposed to play it. I don't, I don't really know. Um, I think we're just gonna do that. Uh. Ugh. I know we can kill it. Oh, that's so funny, actually. Ugh. We're doing that because it's funny, not because it's necessarily the right play. If my Phoenix Force hits a Widow's Bite, I will be so sad. 
Bop, bop, bop. Man thing. Gross. Let's go, Silk. Coming in clutch. Um, do that. that. Um, there's a very real possibility that we are reality stoning Baxter building, and in that reality, we don't want to play for Baxter building. Um, I'll do that for now. Alright, what are we hitting? Hit Valkyrie. <laughs> Heck yeah! I don't even know if that's net beneficial. I'm very glad that Valkyrie did not reset her own power, because I honestly thought that that's how her text box read up until, like, just now. Part of me wants to do this, but I don't think that that's right. And I think that this might overcommit Baxter. This supposed to have 12, 12 left though. I feel like that's fine, going up 12 left. Uh, well, yeah, wait, 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 going up 12 left and then Silk goes mid, which wins me mid, uh, because I'd be at 20. I feel like that's fine. I actually wouldn't be at 20. That was just total copium. <laughs> that was like the biggest lie I told myself. So that Silk would be at 12. <laughs> if we had to be at 20 minutes, I would not because we had like... Uh, ah! That's fine. <laughs> Victory. How rude. Shadow King Ride was so mean. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Uh, I think we went like 5 and 1 or something and the only check we lost to was running like 3 hate cards that we saw, probably more. Um, so I think that shows that it's pretty good. And we were playing pretty high, top like 20, top 30k, I'll say. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and comment letting me know and subscribe for future deck highlights. I will be having one uploaded tomorrow covering the balance changes that happened today. Hint, hint, it's a wave deck. Uh, but anyway, I'll see you in, in the next one and the link to copy this deck will be in the description of the video. Anyway, see ya.